This is a project of mine I developed about a year ago and the main idea is that there are multiple snakes in an environment similar to the classical game snake. Each snake is controlled by a neural network and can eat pieces of food and by doing that it grows. Over time it shrinks uh, due to expanding energy and each snake can also reproduce by splitting. The neural network decides uh, what action it's going to take, for example if it's going to turn left or right and if it's going to split and if yes, what part of itself is going to separate. The snakes evolve over time and become smarter and better adapted to the current environment. The environment consists of a wide variety of factors including innate properties of the snakes such as how fast they're losing energy and also other factors such as how fast food appears, how fast new snakes appear and also the maximum number of food pieces. There are other things that are less important such as the size of the environment. I will now explain the controls of uh, the program and also a few more interesting features. Currently the simulation is paused and we can use this time to switch between the different snakes. The selected snake, which is blinking, can be changed with F1. On the right window, we see the neural network of the selected snake. We can unpause the simulation with F2. Another option is to stop visualizing the windows or drawing on them with F3 and F4, uh, which can be used in order to speed up the simulation. Then we can change the drawing mode of the neural networks with F5. The first one is the default one, which shows the values of the neurons and the weights of the connections. Then we have uh, something similar, except that not the weights of the connections are shown, but rather their current effect on the neuron they are connecting to. Then we have the importance of the neurons, calculated as a linear sum of the weights of the connections coming out of them and multiplied by the importance of the neuron they are going to and uh, we can have the same thing in the fourth drawing mode except that each element in this sum is uh, squared. We can also change the speed of the simulation such that there is no uh, maximum and it's going as fast as possible and in this time a dominant species of snakes has established. Uh, but there are also many other snakes. If we stop drawing uh, the windows uh, and after a few seconds these purple snakes are even more established. And as expected this is so. We can try introducing another different species of snakes that were evolved previously. We can use F8 to load from different saves. And as you can see uh, these different snakes that were much more evolved and were much smarter pretty quickly took over the environment and almost all the purple snakes are dead and pretty soon they will go extinct. This shows that uh, they have a much higher capacity and even though a species of snakes can be established as dominant within a few thousand steps this doesn't mean that uh, they are as evolved as possible. We can of course uh, save our current uh, environment with F7 to some file and uh, then load it. Uh, now I'll show a species of snakes evolved in uh, much different settings. They don't even look like snakes. And after changing the speed of the simulation we can better see their behavior. First of all, there are so many of them in the simulation because they are much smaller that there are a few different subspecies as can be seen by the colors which currently uh, do nothing in the simulation except be used as a visual guide for us. Well, not exactly. The red part of the color actually shows the snake's attack and each snake has attack and defense. Uh, the defense being 1 minus the attack um, but not quite. Uh, a formula is used such that the defense is determined by the attack but as the attack 
goes up, the defense goes down. And these attack and defense determine the outcome of two snakes uh, colliding with each other. As you can see in this save, uh, the snakes have evolved such that they can eat each other and they are constantly doing that. And as soon as they eat uh, a square, it doesn't matter if it's a snake or just a piece of food, they split in two and um, leave uh, another copy of themselves. This copy however doesn't come alive immediately and because of that uh, it might get eaten before it comes alive. And because of that we have uh, gatherings of uh, snakes which are pretty interesting. And if we try to uh, load this safe together with an another one, for example the one we previously uh, saw, uh, the outcome depends on in which snakes environment we load them. So in this case we are loading all of the snakes in the environment of the these uh, small snakes and they pretty quickly win and also we can see an even stronger effect of these gatherings of snakes because of the each of the bodies of the larger snakes is used as food and uh, we have pretty huge groups of them. If we try to do the same thing but we load them in the environment of the bigger snakes we can see that as expected the bigger snakes are much better however this is not so obvious now as the previous time because there are a lot more snakes uh, of the smaller type and some of them manage to live in this world however uh, by now you see that the reddish orange snakes are the better ones it's just not immediately obvious uh, we can also reset the environment and we are asked if we want to change the settings and we will not do that now. And we start in, with the same settings but a different simulation. I will now show another simulation which uh, is of even longer snakes and in this simulation they can't eat each other. The values are set in such a way that the defense of each snake is always higher than the maximum attack so uh, it's pretty interesting because no snake can eat another snake uh, so meaning that the moment you collide with another snake's body you're dead and yet a lot of snakes can live at the same time with pretty much no problem and they're extremely good at avoiding each other and have uh, some really interesting behavior However, sometimes they die and their corpses uh, turn into food pretty quickly. And that's pretty much it. I have a few other plans for the project, such as uh, expanding a bit on the vision of the snakes, so that uh, maybe snakes with different fields of vision can be in the same safe, which is currently impossible. And also to add color vision for the snakes and not just if the thing is uh, food or snake. Also, I want to add something like sound, so each snake can produce some sort of noise and it controls how loud it is and it spreads and each snake in the environment can uh, hear this, so maybe they can try to coordinate each other a bit better and uh, yeah, mainly I want to try experimenting with those two things.